Now, I don't necessarily believe in that. I think my stance on YouTube Let's Players is fairly well known. I don't really like Let's Playing in its current form. I like the old form of Let's Play, the original form where a lot more work was put into the game and the focus was on showcasing the game, not on showcasing the person playing it. YouTube Let's Playing is very personality driven, it's very cult of personality driven, and more often than not, it isn't the game that really matters, it's actually the person playing it. You're scared about LPs either misrepresenting your brand or actually taking away from the overall sales. Think about how much that would happen if the only Let's Plays on the internet were by people that didn't give a damn. Now you could argue that if you're just doing it for the money, you don't care. I don't believe there's that many people who are ever really just doing it for the money because it shows. It shows so obviously. If you do not have passion for the game, it shows. And there are some people that do that, don't get me wrong. But I think the majority are genuinely passionate for the games that they actually LP. And that is particularly true in terms of Nintendo. When I watch videos from, say, Chugger Conroy, who edits his videos, who knows everything about the game, who goes into exhaustive detail and is obviously enthusiastic the entire time about these titles, it is blindingly obvious that this guy is passionate for everything he does. And he really, really appreciates Nintendo and their products. So, and again, I, I'm going to say this again. I've said this all along. It's fan service. You know, two years ago, it was about me, you know, waking up, putting my camera down whenever the hell I felt like it, recording for a few hours and uploading the footage to YouTube. Now, it's about having a schedule. Every day, getting up, whether I feel good or not, plopping down on the couch, setting up, live streaming on a schedule so you guys can watch live. Then trying to figure out how to schedule out uploads. It actually, I'd say this, it's actually more work at this point doing what I'm doing because it is more like having a regular job. You know, every day I'm trying to do two streams because that's the kind of dedication that I put towards this effort. So, you know, being having sitting down, streaming for several hours, uploading videos, streaming a second stream, babysitting the videos, setting them up for uploads, putting them into playlists, tweeting, keeping you guys in the know. It's a lot of work versus what I used to do. I used to just record offline. I could record whenever the hell I wanted. You know, no one could tell me when I had to start or when I had to stop and just upload the videos during the course of the day and that was it. So it's, a, it's actually a much different experience the way that I'm doing this stuff now. The next question is some people think that working full time on YouTube is pretty stress free. I like to know if it's true. Do you ever feel stressed to meet a deadline for a game playthrough or feel you have an obligation to the fans to upload playthroughs on time? That's from Josh. <clears throat> the only people who say that working on YouTube full time is stress free are people who don't work on YouTube full time and they probably want to and they're jealous of people who do it. Um, it's hard. It's hard to wake up on time every day to play eight hours of games some days, like I've been doing with Day Sex, Sex, I've been playing over eight hours a day, and then to be dedicated enough to put that footage on my computer, to set up the uploads, to babysit the uploads, to make sure that they work properly, which they don't always work properly, as you know if you've seen some of the processing issues, the naming issues of the videos, then once they're uploaded, put them in a playlist, order the playlist correctly, because YouTube doesn't order videos added to a playlist correctly because it's a piece of shit. It's a lot of work and dedication that's required, so, it's not stress-free. I do feel pressure of deadlines. Like right now, I have asked the King to do, I have a channel update to do, I want to do the new Call of Duty zombie map, but now I also have to get back to Day Sex, but I also want to try Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now to get stuff done this week and not let it spill into the next week when there's new games coming out. So there are deadlines, there is stress, and it's a lot of hard work. So fuck to the haters, fuck you. You know, if you think that it's so easy, oh, yeah, well, Phil just on his ass and plays video games all day. I wish. I wish that it was me just sitting here playing video games and relaxing and not worrying about commentary quality, getting games done, getting the uploads done. It's not like that. It is hard work. And bottom line is if you're saying that, you either are misinformed or you're just jealous. <laughs>